The other night I saw a 73 year old lady with a history of coronary artery disease and had a history of RCA stent placed 5 years earlier. She presented with chest pressure 5 out of 10 radiating to her jaw and similar to the pain she had 5 years ago. She got concerned and came to the ED to be checked out. The patient's EKG showed a subtle isolated ST elevation in AVL and a reciprocal ST depression in lead 3. The first troponin was 1000 nanogram per liter again the upper normal limit was 50 is this an MI or not now just hearing the history makes the likelihood or pretest probability of ACS or MI is very high even before reviewing the EKG or the troponin results the patient has a full constellation of acute MI with clinical symptoms EKG changes and elevated troponin levels she was treated of course per ACS protocol and I actually argued with the ED and cardiology that the cath lab should have been activated earlier based on the EKG changes and symptoms cardiology was not convinced until the next troponin set came back at 7,000 nanogram per liter. The patient underwent coronary angiogram, which surprisingly revealed patent stents and clean coronaries otherwise. She was diagnosed later on with acute myocarditis following a recent upper respiratory tract infection. The third troponin was 4,000 nanogram per liter. The lessons we learned from this case, the pretest probability for acute MI was very high in this case and any elevated troponin level is due in, in such case is due to MI until proven otherwise. If an acute MI is suspected based on symptoms and EKG changes, the treatment must be started even before the troponin level is back. Myocarditis is a great mimic for acute MI that's difficult to, to distinguish without a coronary angiogram. Similar to myocarditis, we have coronary vasospasm, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, and tachyat supocardiomyopathy. All these are great mimics of MI as well. Notice also the rising and falling patterns of troponin in this acute MI case. 